That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen.
private area. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. a bit excessive, I think, considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, sir. Don't worry about that. Yeah, hey. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her? That sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler? Of course.
Got nothing here. Yeah, I got it. You have strong feelings. I beg your pardon. An unusual connection to the place, even though you married into the family. I mean, can you my husband down the What are you insinuating? Just an observation. Sir, you will need the <coughs>
Sorry, Sam. Can't you tell me about I should get back, to... get back to Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That American lawyer in the, the small office, did you check his travel documents? I vetted him thoroughly. He's good. Greetings, sir. Murder. Was the blood? No, not that I saw. All I can think about is those swollen eyes. No, you don't! <laughs> Got real soul. First time here? Yep. Yeah, it's impressive. Right. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47.
completely irresponsible person would leave a weapon lying around. Don Yates, Alexa Carlyle here. You need to explain yourself. I demand that you return my call ASAP. Sending a junior attorney is gross negligence of your responsibilities and will have consequences for your company and you personally as well. I will make sure of that. Mark my words. Good work. Work 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle.
Hotel booked. Car packed, all ready to go when I got the call. But what did you do for us? No thing go to battle for a while. Maybe come on the third. Madam Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the stage funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's the third. They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The undertaker wants to be gone before he see Madam Carlyle. It's the right stage. So, unless you want to take on the bird, I suggest you stay here again. Oh, no. Madam Carlyle is still going ahead with her staged funeral tomorrow, and she wants to inspect the arrangements. How about it, 47? You feel up to giving her the grand tour of her final resting place? I am horrible. Safer for everyone if I just wait here till he says he's ready for Madam. Bastards. Come on, give me a break. Madam Carlyle isn't dead, so there is no funeral. Not if you ask me.
Stand back. Let me do my job. I am ready to show Madame Carlyle the funeral arrangements. You got rid of the birds? Yes. Perfect. I'll let her know. Mr. Parsons is ready to see Madame Carlyle. What? Who left that weapon there? Well done, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way. I wonder how she will like her final resting ground. Mr. Parsons, I don't like to be kept waiting. I trust we can be efficient now I'm here. I can be very efficient, Madame Carlyle. What's that picture of me doing here? What an awful idea. I want it removed before the ceremony tomorrow. I must say I don't care. Step back, will you? I must say, I don't care much for the choice of flowers, either. I need a moment to consider what I want. What's that podium? I find that having family members do the eulogy is more often than not a toe-cringing affair. I've never understood the need to publicly display grief. A person died. Most natural thing in the world. No need to make an emotional spectacle of it. I hope you haven't planned for one of those. No. I prefer to keep it simple. And the gravestone. Granite. Solid. No fuss. I like it. Well done, Mr. Parsons, I approve. So, to sum up, I expect you to remove my picture from the memorial. That was an absolutely horrendous idea. Very unfit for these historical surroundings. This is my ancestral burial ground. Simple and clean is how we've always gone about... Oh! Mission complete. Well done, 47. Sir, 